In this video, I'll show you how to connect your Epson ET2850 to your Mac computer. I'll also show you how to send any files that you wish to print from your Mac to the printer using Wi-Fi and how to get the scan results from here to your Mac. So let's get started. The first step is to connect your Epson printer to the same Wi-Fi network as your Mac is currently connected to. Let's go on the control panel over here. First, press the home button so we start on the same page over here. Then using the right side arrow, you're going to press it a few times until you get Wi-Fi setup on the display. Press OK. Select Wi-Fi recommended. Press OK. Press OK. Select Wi-Fi setup wizard. Wait a few seconds, it will scan for all the different Wi-Fi networks that are located around the printer. With the up and down arrow, you'll be able to select your Wi-Fi network, press OK, and now it's time to type the password. If your password has numbers or maybe some symbols, you need to go down over here, press OK, and the keyboard on the display will change. At the end, select the OK located on the lower right side and press OK on the control panel. You will get setup complete, press OK and now your printer is connected to the Wi-Fi. Next on your Mac what we need to do is to go on the top left corner where you see the Apple logo, click on it and then select system settings. On the left side menu, we need to go all the way down. Once you see printers and scanners, click on it. And then go all the way down on the right side menu until you see the button that it's called Add Printer Scanner or Fax. This window will appear and now we have to select the printer. Epson ET2850 series. Click and select it and it must be selected in blue like it is right now and then click the add button down below. You don't have to uh, download any software from anywhere. Everything is done automatically once you click on that button and here we go. It has been added to my list of printer. Now there's a many printer here obviously. This is the printer insider channel. So here we go. I found it Epson ET2850 series. If you want to print any documents, you don't have to download any software on your Mac. Open the document or picture you wish to print. Let's say I want to print this. And what you need to do is to go on the top over here. Once you have opened the, the file, go on the top, select file, print, and then Make sure that under printer, the right printer is selected. So Epson ET2850 series. Great. Next, we have a few things that we can change. So the page uh, range in case, let's say you have a document of 50 pages, but you just need the first uh, 10 pages. Well, you can say one to 10 over here. One important thing that I suggest is if you're printing pictures, artwork, anything with fine details, is to go down this menu until you see media and quality. Select this and over here you see there's quality. By default it's set to normal and I think it does a pretty good job but if you want the best quality your printer is capable of you need to select best. All right I can see a, a difference when I select best especially again if they're fine details. If you're simply printing text it does not matter. You won't see any difference. This is just for, um, again, files like this one where there's many pixels, many uh, different details that you may want to preserve. All right, press print once you're ready. And in about 30 seconds, the print should come out. Oops, just like that. And by the way, if you have selected best, like I said, well, it will take more time to print, obviously, because the printer will take its time to create the best results. This is why I don't recommend it to select that option for basic text files. 
And here we go, we got our result right over here. Now let me show you how to scan a document and get the results on your Mac. Open the scan lid, place your document facing down with the top part of your document towards the right side. Now you're going to notice there is an arrow in this corner. You just have to glide the paper until the corner of the paper touches the corner with the arrow. Just like that. Now we know that the document is properly aligned. Close the lid and now let's go on the Mac computer. You won't have to download anything. So over here we're going to close this and to scan with your Mac you simply need to go back in this menu where all your printers are located find your printer so let's find mine 2850 series click on it and then select open scanners then on the left side select your printer Epson ET2850 wait a few seconds and this will be a preview it will not yet be saved on your Mac to save it on your Mac, what we have to do is to click the scan button. But let me talk a bit about the different features that you have above. So first of all, you can select if you want the scan to be in color or black and white. You have the resolution. By default is 200 and I think for 99% of the people, this is perfect. If you're somebody that wants to scan pictures, paintings, artwork, things with fine details, the highest the number of DPI that you'll select, the finer detail you're going to have. So obviously the result will look much better at 1200 DPI. It will, the file will also be a lot larger and it will also take a lot more time to scan. So these options are mostly only for people that requires high details uh, for their scan. Most people 200 is enough. Next, um, over here we have size, so select the size of the paper you're trying to scan. Orientation, don't touch it since we have already aligned the paper properly on the scan bed. Over here we have scan to, so select the folder on your Mac where you want the scan to go. Name, well you can give this um, scan a new name, anything. And here is format. Now, if you want to scan, let's say, multiple pages and combine them in one single PDF document, I suggest you select PDF and check Combine into Single Document. After scanning this document, okay, after pressing Scan, go ahead, insert the next one in uh, the scanner, scan it without changing the name, and the second page will go directly in that PDF uh, file. In my case, I just want a JPEG. Next, press scan once you're ready. 200 dpi means that it will take around 13 seconds to fully scan. And here we go, the scan has been saved. Thanks for watching. If you found my video helpful, leave a comment down below. Check my Amazon links. So each time you want some ink for your printer, some paper, go through my links. I get a very small commission and this supports my channel. Have a nice day.